Hello everybody and welcome to Solar Basics. I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the basic things you need to know about solar uh, so that you can explain it properly and so you truly understand what you're talking about. So solar is pretty simple. Essentially the sun comes up in the sky and the solar rays uh, emit what we call photons. And those photons travel down to earth and they hit the top of those panels and those panels will then convert those photons into DC or what we call direct current. Um, the solar panels known in the industry are also called photovoltaic solar systems or photovoltaic panels. Again, each of those panels are comprised of photovoltaic solar cells or you can just call them solar panels or solar cells, right? Those solar cells comprised together generate enough electricity that it trickles into a conduit that runs underneath every single one of those panels, connects them all, and gathers the electricity across all the panels that are on your roof. It takes them down the side of the house where it then goes into number two, which is a box on the side of the home called an inverter. That inverter will then convert that energy from DC or direct current into alternating current, which is the same electricity that you use through your outlets throughout your house. And from there, it'll then be measured by number three, the performance monitoring system, which is just another fancy name for you know, electric meter, okay? So that is provided by your local energy company that wants to see how much electricity your solar panels are generating for your home, okay? Once it goes through there, it then connects into number four, which is your main electric panel, and that's where you have all those switches on the side of your house that connects to your kitchen, bathroom, living room, bedrooms, and all the outlets throughout the house. So that's where the electricity is then dispersed throughout the home. Now, the interesting thing about grid tied systems is that if you do not use all the electricity on the property, since it is not connected to a battery backup, that extra electricity that's not being used then goes back through your main meter, which is already on the home, so you don't have to do anything there, and it travels back into the grid, where we call this a grid tied system. So most of the cases where these uh, energy companies are out there, they typically will pay credits back for any energy that is produced. So instead of them cutting you a check, they typically will say, hey, if for every dollar's worth of electricity you give me, I'll give you 90 cents back. Some of them say, hey, I'll give you 40 cents back. So each area really differ, depends upon what those local energy companies are willing to pay for the extra electricity being produced and given back to them. Um, but again, they will pay you for that electricity and that looks like credits on your bill. So if you had a bill that was, let's say, 100 bucks a month, and then all of a sudden you went with solar and then you're, you started generating all these credits, you could end up with a negative bill. Um, I've seen a negative bill of $135 once. It confused the customer, but just understand, like rollover minutes, if you don't use it, it sits as a, it sits as a credit so that when it gets dark at nighttime or it gets near the end of the year where it's darker sooner and there's less daylight, maybe it's cloudy, and there's not enough sunlight to be, produce enough electricity through solar panels, that's when you're gonna draw back from those credits and use electricity back from the grid. So essentially, you're just borrowing from yourself. So hopefully that kind of explains to you what uh, a basic solar uh, grid tied system looks like uh, for a photovoltaic solar system. So that's your basic 101 on solar, enjoy.